Hey everyone, Technoment here with a video for you guys. Now, if your iPhone storage is full, these are the steps you wanna to follow to free up and fix this issue, so let's get started. So generally, you can check your iPhone storage by going to your settings, general, and then iPhone storage. will we'll give you an idea of how much storage your device have left. This is the total amount of storage, and this is how much you're using, and this is how much you have left. So if it's almost zero or very close to zero, you really want to go ahead and do the steps to fix it before you run into issues with your iPhone. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is look at the apps that you have and delete some apps that you don't need. The apps usually tend to take up space and it gives you the size breakdown in size as well. So you can see here, I have quite a few apps. So if I wanted to delete app, you can simply click on it, delete app, and then delete and then I'm gonna get those storage back as you can see here to free up the storage and sometimes you download a lot of different apps that you tend to don't use just go ahead through the list and delete them the next way to also free up storage it's gonna be deleting some of your photos and videos especially so in your album in the photos album just go ahead and check what you can delete you'll see that there's a lot of videos that take up space like these ones short even short ones so you're gonna go ahead and delete some uh, as the more you delete the more space you'll have and once you delete them go all the way to the very bottom here to the delete section utilities recently deleted you also want to make sure you delete it from here so let's go ahead and see this album select all and click on this button right here delete and then delete all and that's going to really give a lot of your iphone storage capacity back to you now along with that it's going to be the next thing you're going to want to go ahead and review is your messages. So if you have messages, here I don't have it, they usually tend to take up a lot of space. So if you can, I recommend is deleting messages. And sometimes if you have attachment with messages, so if you go over here, these attachments that you send also take up space. So you wanna go ahead and delete any attachment. A lot of times attachment might be just minor like screenshots or things you don't really need. And that usually takes up space on your storage. So you wanna delete them as well. Now after you do that, the next thing you wanna do is go into your setting, main settings, click on your Apple ID, and you wanna ensure that under iCloud here, you're gonna to go to iCloud, and then we're gonna see here, save to iCloud, see all. For photos, you wanna go ahead and turn on syncing, and you wanna make sure it says optimize your iPhone storage so that the photos on your iPhone are optimized to less take up less space and get uploaded to iCloud. This is gonna save you a tons of space if you download and keep the original, that's gonna fill up your space. So you wanna to wanna to make sure this says optimize to get the most out of it. Now after that, if you're still seeing that you still have a lot of storage, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your settings, main settings here, and then scroll all the way down to apps. And then you're gonna go all the way down again, a little bit further to the Safari one. And then go down here and you wanna go ahead and clear history and website data. Important thing to do, you can see here you're gonna do all history and then close out all the tabs and that's gonna go ahead and give you some storage as well back on your device. Now after you have done that, the next thing to also do is gonna be deleting and reinstalling some apps. So if you go into your settings again, this time you're gonna go general, iPhone storage, right? Sometimes you can see your apps will take up some storage, but you might need that app. So what you do is delete and reinstall it to clear up app cache. So as you can see here, for example, if I didn't need, let's pick an app here, uh, like Uber, for example, I'll go ahead and offload this app just like that, and then I'll delete it. So that way it can free up storage by the app. So you go ahead, let's go ahead and offload, and then here you'll see a reinstall and I'll reinstall it again. It will go ahead and free up the storage. So now you can completely delete it and just go back to the App Store, reinstall it. Of course, your account is gonna be still on the app because it's just delete the app on the phone to free up those cache, and then it will go ahead and save you tons of storage. Now, another area what you can do is, this is a little bit more on the extreme side of things is, if you go at the bottom here, you're gonna notice there's something called iOS and system data. Sometimes if you click on it, you might be able to delete the iOS corrupted data file. If there is, it'll say it. You can go ahead and delete. Same with system data, you might be able to delete it. Now if you can and you're seeing it's taking up a lot of space, what you can do is back up your phone to iCloud or on your computer with you using iTunes, 
do a factory reset and then restore again. That is something we discussed a little bit further in another video, which I'll leave a link for in the comment section. So check that video out and that will help you clearing off that iOS and system data on your iPhone. And hopefully by following these tips and tricks, you can free up a lot of space on your iPhone. If this was helpful, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.